In this tutorial, you will learn how to use ROS2Bags with the ROS2Bag command line tool in order to save and replay data from your ROS2 topics. And let's start to record some topics with the ROS2Bag command line. So before we even do that, let's actually create a folder here. So I am in my home directory. Let's create, for example, bags, so a bags folder. And I'm going to put the ROS2 bags here because some files are going to be created. So let's actually organize it in a clean way. And well, we can't record a topic if we don't have a topic that is currently running. So let's run a topic here, ROS2 run with demo nodes. CPP talker. Okay, I'm just gonna run the talker and let's see what it does. Okay, so if I do here ROS2 topic list, you can see we have the chatter topic. That's the one we want. If I do ROS2 topic echo chatter. Okay, we have data with a string which contains a text and you can see we have a different number in the text every time. So that's what we want to record in the bag. Let's do clear here. And let's do ROS2 bag record. And then we need to provide the name of the topic, so chatter. Okay, so it's gonna record and well, you can see it's listening and recording and you can just press Ctrl C whenever you want. So I'm gonna wait a few seconds. Okay, let's press Ctrl C and let's do ls, let's actually stop this topic here. You can see we have a ROS bag, so ROS bag 2 with some stuff inside this. We have some files and I'm gonna come back to this uh, just after. Let's create a few more bags. So by default, the name would be ROS bag 2 with basically the date when you recorded the bag. So that can be quite useful because you will have a new name every time and you will easily be able to sort the bags by the date when they were basically recorded. But now if you want, you can change the name of the bag with ROS2 bag record. So let's use chatter. But you can also put dash O for output and let's name it my bag one. So let's start the talker again. Okay, let's run this. Okay, it's gonna subscribe and listen. Now let's kill this and kill that. And now you can see we have my bag one. And so, well, make sure you use different names because if I try to use the same name, you can see my bag one, we have an error because there is already a folder that exists. Okay, so when you use a custom name, make sure you use a different name every time. And then, well, you can actually record multiple topics. So let's run the talker again and let's do ROS2 to topic list. We actually have, so we have the chatter topic, but we also have the ROS out topic that we can record as well. So we can do ROS2 bag record slash chatter and then slash ROS out. So you just put the different topic names like this separated by a space and then dash O my bag two, for example. So it's gonna record the two topics and then control C to stop. And we have my bag too. And if you want to record all the topics, so if you want to record here, we have chatter, parameter events, and ROS out. And if you want to record basically all the topics running in the environment, then you can do ROS to bag record dash A, okay, for all. And you can still use dash O for output. Let's use my bag three. Okay, let's run this again. And now it's gonna record, so it's gonna uh, subscribe. You can see subscribe to topic ROS out, subscribe to topic parameter events and subscribe to topic chatter. So it's been subscribing to all of the topics. Okay, and now let's kill everything. And well, one quick note of caution here is that if you are using the all, so dash A for all topics, make sure that you know how many topics you have because if you have, uh, let's say 40 topics, well, that's gonna record a lot of things. So make sure you know what you're doing with this option. Great, so now you have recorded your topics and we can actually see what's inside the bags. And just before that, well, if you like this tutorial, if you like what I do, and if you are currently learning ROS too, 
Well, I have a complete course for you, which name is ROS2 for Beginners. And this course contains 10 hours of structured content. Okay, everything is hands-on with many practice activities and projects. So you can learn ROS2 very efficiently without having to run into all of the documentation and figure out what you need to learn by yourself. Okay, I will guide you from zero to being a ROS2 developer. So if you want to know more about this, I have a link in the description. And now let's continue with the video. So let's do clear here and let's do LS. We have, so we have four different bags. Now inside bags, so let's go inside my bag one. You can see we have a YAML file and a SQLite 3 database. But we don't really need to directly care about those files. Okay, we can just stay at the folder level and we can use ROS2 bag info which is going to basically read inside the folder and give us all the info that we need. And so let's just do info with, let's start with the first one we have recorded. Okay, so you can see the file, this is the SQLite file, the size, so SQLite 3 is the storage type, the duration, so I have run that one for approximately 28 seconds. Okay, when it started, when it ended, and then the number of messages you have, and actually I'm gonna, do this and the topic information so here we have recorded the topic chatter okay you have the type of the topic the count okay so 29 messages so that's the info that we have for this bag and then let's do ros2 bag info with the my bag one so this one nothing different okay we just have six seconds and we have seven messages but the same topic if I do ROS2 bag info with my bag2, here you can see we have two topics. Okay, we have the chatter topic and the ROS out topic. And you can see, so we recorded that for four seconds and a half. We have 23 messages, four of them are chatter topic, 19 of them are ROS out topic. And finally, ROS2 bag info with my bag. Three, the last one with all the topics. So let's actually put it even bigger. Here we have recorded for 14 seconds, 36 messages. So 15 are from the chatter, 21 from ROS out and parameter events we have zero. Okay, so we still have the information of that topic but we have zero message received uh, in this duration here. All right, and now the final thing you probably want to do with bags is to replay the data because why do you record a bag is so that you can replay the data so you can analyze it later so let's do ROS2 topic list to make sure we have so I have parameter events and ROS out so actually if we do ROS2 node list well I have nothing running I just have those two topics name that are already here but you can see I don't have the chatter topic now I'm gonna do ROS2 bag so in the bags folder, okay, where I have my bags here, and I'm gonna do ROS2 bag play with the name of the folder. Okay, so ROS bag2 here, I'm just gonna replay that one. So I press enter, and you can see it, so opened database, and then it's gonna play it. So if I do ROS2 topic um, list here, I can see the chatter, and if I do ROS2 topic echo chatter you will see that we receive some data from the bag actually so the bag is actually just publishing the data that was previously recorded and you can see now the bag has finished the bag has published all the messages and so well we stop to receive messages if i start again you can see we replay again what was played before and I can press Control c to stop. And so you can see here we start data hello world with 66. That was basically when the bag was started. So the bag started at 66 and ended at 92. And so every time you're gonna replay the bag, you're gonna have the same data, which is really quite useful if you are recording, for example, the behavior of a robot in a given situation, you just record it once or you make a few samples, of course, and then you have those samples that you can work on again and again and again. Thank you for watching. 
Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also check out my online courses if you like what I teach, links in the description. And see you in the next one.